Electric cars are an eco-friendly option. But what does the electric drive consist of? The electric motor, the battery, and the heart of the system, the power electronics unit. This is the command center for the electric motor and battery. When the driver steps on the gas pedal, the battery has to supply power to the motor. This is where the power electronics unit steps in. It acts as the link between the motor and battery. Without it, an electric car would stay rooted to the spot. It transforms high voltage electricity from the battery into low voltage electricity for the lighting and entertainment systems. In terms of complexity, we're in the stratosphere here. More than 4,000 components, both mechanical and electronic, go into this one product. At the same time, it's important to keep the power electronics unit as small as possible. This is a challenge for developers. After all, generally, the more power something has, the larger it is. But in this case, cutting-edge technology has to be squeezed into a housing the size of a shoebox. We're talking about up to 150 kilowatts. That's enough power to light up the whole Eiffel Tower. In addition, the unit has to be very robust, with standing temperatures that range from minus 40 to plus 120 degrees Celsius, for example. When outside temperatures are high, the power electronics unit also needs to be cooled without wasting too much energy. And of course, it has to keep working for the lifespan of the car and always deliver full power. Being manufactured near Stuttgart, the Bosch power electronics units mean electromobility made in Germany. This high-performance technology is already used in Volkswagen's e-up and e-golf, the Porsche Panamera and Fiat 500e, as well as the diesel hybrids made by Peugeot and Citroën. A whole boatload of fun from such a little box. It felt a bit like riding a roller coaster. It's really dynamic. It's really fun.